Can't open it from this end. God damn, instant break, that's stupid. Kind of a way, Nick. Anybody now? There's something out there. Watch yourself. Something you need? Looks like you got something to say. Just wanted to check in, see how you feel things are going between us. Hard to say. You know, some folks are just out for themselves. Some want to help those in need. Yuri's still out, which can't Yuri. Nothing else for now. Got it. Oh shit, I need a... Uh... Yo, what? You shot me. You shoot me, buddy? Security facility infiltrated. Termination required. 
That's what she said. Get out of my way. Again, get out of my way, dude. Holy shit. What's up? Ooh, so close. It's robbed. That's it. Hmm. Oh, dude, how, how, how are you are how are you over there? Um, Nick, Nick, show me the way. How did you get there, Nick?
How can duct tape not always be useful? Yo! Security's too tight. Hey, welcome to the stream. Just chilling. How's it going? Going down. See ya. I'm so used to circle being duck in Call of Duty. Get out of there. Oh, Nicky Nicky. Stealth capabilities. Fascinating. <sighs> they were wise to flee. Rads away, maybe? Should I? I don't even think I have the ability to, huh? Eh. Not too bad. Let's go away. I don't think you can shoot them. Now I'm taking a uh, 60 second bathroom break. <clears throat>
All right, and we are back. Looks like there's one of you down there. Hmm. Oh, I'm carrying too much. Patience. So I guess it's a little bit to the right. No? Holy shit. I ain't even worth my trouble, but I've gone this far. I gotta see it through. Uh. Really? Holy shit. Finally. Got it. All right, let's see. So we're overburdened. You gotta drop stuff. Too much. Eh. Ain't worth the trouble. Good God up. You might try to ambush us. So we're getting close. Oh, so he knows about me because he knows I've been hurt for 200 years. Big clue. Big, big, big clue. Oh, am I overburdened again? Ah, uh, so many goodies. So many goodies. I want them all. I'm not going to use the uh, unlimited inventory mod because I want to earn trophies. Alright, so let's see. These guys. Mm. Screw it. Screw it. All right, there we go.
with AP. Whoa! Let that AP uh, build up a little bit for maximum shots. Go a little closer as well. Oh, what's up, big boy? Down that way. I think this is the bonus room. Oh, there's no way to get in there. Right? Look, you're pissed off. I get it. I do. But whatever you hope to accomplish in here, it's not going to go your way. This is beyond me. The instant break is bullshit. Nikki, nobody asked you to go ahead of me. Now, which way do we want to go? Got him. Okay, you get him then. We're in here looking for bonuses. Oh, I thought that was going to take him out. You got it, Nick. I have faith in you. Mm. 
Time to change the laundry. Do I want to go there or here? Hmm. What's in here? Hello, Stimpak. Hey! Oh! You want some? Damn! So he can up on me like a little bastard. Nick, you should have had my back. What happened? This way or this way? You got guts and determination. It's admirable. You are in over your head in ways you can't possibly comprehend. Oh, hello. Fort Hagen Armory password. Good thing I went this way. percent critical damage for energy weapons. Nice! Oh, you want to take your time and explore. You just don't want to you know, run through it. You can handle it, Nick. I'm looking for goodies. Should be in the ten o'clock position, maybe eleven o'clock. Let's see. Hmm. There we go. Got it. Got him. Got taken out. Yikes. Take it easy. Yo, hello. Let's go, dude. Yeah, we're going to wait a little bit. All right. 
Nick, buddy. You okay? Won the war. You all right? Nobody, I guess. Let's see if that's any better. Let's see, uh... What we got here? All right, let's uh, compare their uh, armor to mine. Usually value does the trick for that. All right, let's see. My chest is 15, 12. Eh. Yeah, so we can helmet 12. Mine's already 12. 14 shock resistance versus mine. Oh, okay. So that is better. Put that on. Okay, seven. Nope. 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 Um, left armor. Hmm. All right. Such a fun game. I'm not sure why I didn't play it long ago. It's because I have 400 plus games to play. Too many games and not enough time. Now is the time, though, to beat this game in 2022. On the mighty PlayStation 5! way or that way? So we're going to go down because it's pointing down. Oh wait, did it just take me in a loop anyway? Yeah, I didn't kill or good post. Thank goodness the ammo doesn't count against your weight, I don't think. So I guess maybe we do go this way? Oh shit. Hope I'm not lost. Oh shit. Is this a dead end? And we were here already? Uh No, we're going. It's not too late. Yeah, we're going the right way. Stop. All right, stop. Calibrate and listen. Oh shit. Oh, I forgot. I'm using a shotgun. You're in for it now. Oops. Okay, here we go. All right. There we be. Yeah, I'm running low on these bolts, though, so I guess we'll go to a less powerful one, but one that has more bullets. I won't do this, but oh, yes. Hell yeah. 
Nice. In real life, I don't do this, but in this game, this will like, give me some kind of perk. So, we'll take a nap in the middle of a fucking rescue mission for eight hours. Well, hello there. Oh, we gotta go with alien just because it's a cord. Like this one. Uh, hmm. Oh, shit. Ten seconds. Hello, my good friend. System pack will be in here probably. Great. Ooh. Two flight position maybe? Nice. Did, like, a tobacco company pay this game company to put cigarettes in it? Or do they just own, like, stock and tobacco company? Like, yeah, we're putting cigarettes all over the game. So our tobacco stock goes up. Alright, and let's try this again. This time, let's think about it. Alright. Mm. I have fun with my hands. Okay, so four. Ooh. So this should be easy. Sands. There we go. Got it. Ba boom. Bada bing. Bada boom. Alright, no more turrets to deal with. Okay. Ooh, we're getting close now. We are getting close. Now it's that way. So that means there's probably a bonus in this room, because it's not part of the main mission. A little bonus, a little cool ingredient here or something. Ooh, microscope, there we go. Oh, look at that, see? That's why you, uh, you want to follow that green dot constantly. you gotta, you got to look around a little bit. Alright, and, hmm, even though we've only got 37 bullets, let's do this one, because these are more powerful. Oh, wait a minute, actually, Kellarg is a human, so let's put our weapon that's good against humans. Yeah, 50% more damage. Let's put this there. Oh, yeah, bastard. All right, now we're ready to party. We are ready to party. Yeah, the instant break is bullshit. Said it before. I'll say it every time. Hello. Hello, level 19. Let's talk. Mm -hmm. Talk. Talk to my uh, death machine here, but first, just in time. Oh, so many things to level up. What do I want to do? Hmm. So, no, I can't do that because that's level 24. Um, oh, so close for that one. Um, 
agility action points. Choices. Let's see. Hmm. Eh. Ah, good for bonuses yet. I don't know. Let's think about this a little bit. Hmm. Toughness. Let's go for life giver. Oh, I'm one one level below to get it. Um. Let's see, rad resistance. Mm. Cannibal. Eh. Perception. Effects accuracy in advance. That sounds good. Pickpocket. Let's do it. All right. Sean's a good kid. Mm. A bit older than you expected, am I right? But he's doing great. Only, he's not here. He's with the people pulling the strings. Mm. Fuck you, Kellogg. Let him go. Your time's done. Your son is exactly where he belongs. He's home. In the Institute. The Institute? Well, I'll find him. No matter where he is. Nothing. <clears throat> God, you're persistent. I give you credit. It's the way a father should act. The way I'd be acting if I was in your place, I like to think. Even if it is useless. But I think we've been talking mm. long enough. Oh, shit. We both know how this has to end. Yeah, you did. So, you ready? Mm. You know, in a hundred years, when I finally die, I only hope I go to hell so I can kill you all over. <laughs> <the Keller, where did you go? <laughs> Fuck you, Kellogg. Don't be turning invisible on me. How are you?
bitch. Fuck you, bitch. All this tech. You were barely human. Take a look around. Get all the intel this place can find. Ah, he was a green light and I pushed the wrong button, so I'm gonna load. Maybe he had something to say right before he died. Push pushed the button too fast and it transferred all. So we're gonna we're gonna do the battle one more time, just in case I missed a fucking little plot line story there with my overzealous button pushing. Damn it. So, you're you murdering, kidnapping psychopath. Give me my son. Give me Sean! Now! Right to it then, huh? Okay. Fine. Your son, Sean. Great kid. A little older than you may have expected. But I'm guessing you figured that out by now. But if you're hoping for a happy reunion, it ain't gonna happen, pal. The boy's not here. God damn it, you mercenary motherfucker. Where is my son? What's the cliche? So close, but yet so far away. That's Sean. But don't worry. You'll die knowing he's safe and happy. A bit older than you expected, but oh well. At least he's in a loving home. The Institute. Here. The Institute. I'll find my son no matter where he is. <laughs> That's the spirit. You know, you surprise me, I have to admit. I find myself actually kind of liking you. I admire your dedication to fatherhood. Even if it is ultimately useless. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. So, you ready? I'm going to make you suffer. Let's rock! What's up, bitch? You mocking me? You're making fun of me? Oh, wait. Alright. Mmm, chunky. Kellogg's! Now with meat chunks. Right, let's look around a little bit. Yes, hello. Right. Nice. Building a collection or something? 
I am. Oh, hello. Nice. You've collected this for Robocall fun. Includes the Pitfall hologram game. Nice. Pitfall. Ah, look, Pitfall. I get it. Right, see what's going on. The boy Sean successfully delivered back to the Institute payment received. No orders to track down Renegade. Gather reinforcers cleared out and secured Fort Hagen. We move out soon. Guess that's it then. All right. What's up, buddy? Hey, Valentine. So Kellogg wasn't giving us any bull. Your son really is on the inside. Even I don't know where the institute is, and they built me. Mm. Bullshit. You're a synth, Valentine. Tell me what you know. You want to know the truth? Sad thing is, I have no idea. None of us do. Think they'd cut me loose if I had something on them? We're in the weeds here. Time to take a step back, bring in some fresh eyes. Only person I know willing to snoop up the Institute's tail feathers is Piper, the reporter in Diamond nice. City. Nice. I say we head her way, talk this through. How could Piper help us? Trust me, that dame knows a lot more than she lets on. And she lets on a lot. Huh? I know her. She's done her homework. And we need to talk this through with someone. All right. Let's go then. City it is. Hey, chin up. I know the night just got darker. But it won't last forever. Shine like a diamond. All right. Let's, uh... Sure, we didn't miss any goodies. Yo to exit. Can be located at the end of every battle. But before we go, let's uh, check some stuff out. Don't worry, Nick. You're a match lead teleport to the top. I guarantee it. Oh, right in here. Nice work, teleporter. Oh, I'm overburned now, aren't I?
right now, what goodies do we have to give up? Two did not be any more carry as much. Remember that. Boys, apparel. Ooh, that is maybe good. Uh, hmm, can I not have his outfit? Six and six and six. Oh, I can't. Well, I guess overall, it's given me body protection, not my limbs though. Okay. Alright. Hmm. So let's see how I look. Eh, I guess. People of the Commonwealth. What's up? Do not interfere. Our intentions are peaceful. Hmm. Just to see what happens. We are the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, okay. I'm part of the Brotherhood. That's fine. Discuss your findings with Piper. Let's do it. Ooh, time to put some food in my belly soon, though. I think I'll just have a heel shake. Hmm. Deep into that. No, there's an E after the B. You know what I'm saying? But there's an E after the B. Well, well. Nikki Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where he told me they have Sean? The Institute. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But. To this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah, I knew he wasn't going to go quietly the moment I saw him. So, 
a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. Doesn't matter what he knew. I'd kill him again in a heartbeat. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. <laughs> you know, we may not need the man at all. You talk Since they didn't like that, I'm gonna try again. I want these people to like me, so we're gonna we're gonna uh, see a different thing. This again. Well, Nikki Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? We need help, Piper. This man named Kellogg kidnapped my son. That wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. <laughs> but there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. How long? Huh. What about him? He had to have a way in and out. But, well, we both know that angle is cut off. Yeah. Any other ideas, Nick? Talk about a literal dead end, huh? So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. He wasn't gonna talk. Even if I had a way of bringing him in alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, mm. it would be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Who's this Dr. Amari? I'll let her give you her life story in person. Let's stay focused. Hmm. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way. I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. If you want to head there together, just say so. I'll head out with Piper. We'll meet you there. Sounds good. You two stay out of trouble. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Trophy, nice. Hey. Point the way. You know, the Institute has a lot of enemies. The Minutemen tangled with them once. 
The railroad still does. I've even got some notes on these new guys. The Brotherhood of Steel. That Brotherhood airship is hard to miss. Yeah, the Brotherhood of Steel doesn't do subtle. From what I've heard, they do oh. whatever they want. Especially when it's high tech. They don't sound like the good guys. They have the muscle to give the Institute mm. a run for their money, but they're... Let's just say they have their own agenda. Hmm. You said something about the, the railroad. Supposedly, they help runaway synths escape the Institute, but they're secretive. All for paranoia. The only thing I have is a rumor, a, a code phrase. Hmm. Follow the freedom trail. Interesting. Uh -huh. Tell me about the Minutemen. You know that group you rescued and conquered? Yeah, I'm the general. As far as I know, <laughs> the last Minutemen left in the Commonwealth. They used to be a volunteer army dedicated to protecting friends, family, and neighbors. Sounds soft, but... They were a real thing at one point. All right. Get going. All right. Hey, see that big blimp? What's the Brotherhood of Steel? Why are they here? Everyone else may be closed, but Diamond City surplus is open. What do you sell here? Oh, everything, sir. Miss Myrna prizes herself on being a collector. We also buy... Sure, let's take a look. The highest quality available. Okay, so let's sell some stuff first. We don't have a gun that uses that, so we'll sell that. Sell that. Old dude by value. Here we go. Alright, good enough. Level eyes, 
gone. I mean, I bet your name's not even. Who is it? Ali, she must go out. Do yourself a favor and just say yes. It's all he understands. Heard you rescued Valentine. Good work. Old Sin scared the hell out of me. Okay, let's see. Mission. Talk to Dr. Amari. So where's Dr. Amari? Right there. Oh. Can't travel there yet. Well, we can save a little bit of walking by fast traveling here. Right. <clears throat> Set a timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, counting down. That's why I'm going to get some food. That's unlucky mutant. Mutants are usually really hard for me to beat. What, I can't shoot through a fence? Really? Oh, my higher level has made these easier. Where are they? Oh, they're below. Oh shit!
Surprise, mofo! Yeah, bastard. You son of a bastard. Alright, what do we gotta drop? I don't. Hmm. Okay, actually, let's put this by damage. Alright. Alright. So it's got 19 damage. 
But a slow rate, it's our place. Map. Okay. For that green square location. Hmm. Perhaps this way. Oh, I should have gave her some of the stuff I found. Oh well. Oh, there's the stuff. Hmm. Well, that sucks. I didn't want to go down here. I better not be trapped. Billy. Uh... God damn it. You should not be able to get trapped in fucking cracks. That's poor game design. That's what that is. It's poor game design right there. <sighs> hmm. Oh shit.
All right, Piper. Oh no! Where's Piper? She didn't get killed, did she? I hear her walking. Where are you at, Piper? Stop, stop. Get that, get what? What are you doing up there? Oh, you a little. I want to check if my armor I just got is better for you. All right. Hey. Just let me know. Wait there. Now, let's see. Apparel. Okay. So we got a two and a twelve. That's one. Where's the chest? That's an eight. Aha, that's a chest. Eight. That's a twelve, so that's better. Right, right leg is worst. Left arm is six. Let's see, left arm. Okay, that's better. All right. And let's see. Yeah, we're good. Okay, I'll be here then. The word. Time to go my settlement soon again. All right, here we go. Where are we discovered? Piper didn't pop up yet. Piper! You're supposed to full port. Oh, wait, I told her to stay behind. Eh. It's fine. No, it's not fine. I'm gonna go get her. Yeah. Forgot I gave her the uh, stay command. We'll bring her with. Hey. Hmm? 
Come on. Actually, good. Not look as much. Oh shit! Bad dog. Bad dog. We're just gonna try to find this doctor. Some foods. Ice. Just went in a circle, didn't we? Hmm. Oh, it's right there.
Okay. Was it on this side? Or am I going back in a circle again? Hmm. hell to get to where I want to go. I just came down from there. Hmm. So close. Yet yeah, so far. Damn. How did I get over there? Shit, that doesn't pause them, does it? Where the hell's the door to get in? Hmm? Human empathy robotic precision. Shit, I'm going in a fucking circle, ain't I? Uh hmm. Okay, hold on now. So there it is over there. Okay. All right. So somewhere over here, we're getting closer now.
And there's an owl, which will conveniently point me there in a bit. Yeah, there's another owl. My timer's done, but we're going to keep on going. Uh-huh. Let's see. Good neighbor. There we go. Like a good neighbor. The blue door's there. You can restore health by using a scent pack, eating food, visiting a doctor, drinking a work from a work source, or sleeping in a bed. Okay, so we want shotgun shells and three oits. Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Unless it's keep dumb assholes away from me, insurance. I'm not interested. Now don't mm -hmm. be like that. I think you're gonna like what I have on offer. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, uh, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody. Think I'm giving you my shit? You gotta be joking. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I see. Soft Hancock. You keep mm. running outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Oh shit. Oh, why do you have to go and say that, huh? Mm. My heart over here. You alright, brother? <laughs> I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. The good neighbors of the people for the people. Uh -huh. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Hmm. Good neighbor? That what you call this place? That's right. We cobbled this little neighborhood together out of the freaks and misfits that just wouldn't be accepted anywhere else. Hey, sounds like jugglers. Whoa, whoa. friends here. You'll call this place home soon enough. So long as you remember who's in charge. Always on good behavior, aren't you? Didn't realize I had been. So this is you not even trying, huh? I appreciate it. Too few folks can be bothered. Of course, in my experience, if you want to do real good, playing nice only gets you so far. I mean... Look at Diamond City, a place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is, Oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? Mm -hmm. It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. Sounds like it must be exhausting. <laughs> no kidding. But people... <laughs> They deserve to know the truth. Sure, it can be scary, knowing what's really out there. <laughs> the night doesn't go by, I'm not afraid. Some institute drone will decide. Today's the day to pay old Piper and family a visit. But it's worth it, because I know the truth. That's what protects us. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. How can you protect you and yours if you don't know what you're facing? Exactly. Most folks, though... They'd prefer a comforting lie. Not me. Not me, that's why I'm an atheist. What truth can do. My sister and I, we grew up way out in the Commonwealth. A tiny little settlement. Our dad, he was part of the local militia. <laughs> Keeping the raiders off our backs and the Mirelurks out of our latrines, as he'd describe it. Well, uh, one day, our dad turns up dead. His captain, asshole named Mayburn, claims raiders must have gotten him on watch. Well, I didn't buy it. Stop making inquiries. Turns out, captain, he'd sold out. Mm. He thought he wasn't getting paid enough to babysit the town. He was going to leave the gates open one night, let a group of raiders sack the place and take a cut of the profits. My dad found out and was going to turn Mayburn in, but Mayburn got to him first. And I wasn't about to let that bastard get away with murder. I tried talking to the mayor, but he wouldn't listen. So, 
I papered the entire town in posters. Wanted for gross dereliction of duty, Captain Mayburn. The mayor sure wanted to talk after that. <laughs> the town threw Mayburn out on his ass and were dug in when a very surprised group of raiders finally showed. Hmm. Your father died for knowing the truth. It didn't protect him. Damn it. More people would have died if he had accidentally pushed that. I was... But hey, I, I'm sorry if I've been nope. rambling. I just get fired up sometimes. It's just nice to talk to someone who, All right. who actually seems to get it, you know? So, All right. Should we head out? Heads up. Shoot. Hey, Piper. Hey, here. Something to keep you sharp. Always worked for me. I was just wondering where you and I stand. Well, things aren't bad. <laughs> because believe me, you'd know if they were. But I suppose we could be doing better. Hmm. Your thoughts? Have any more questions about the Institute's enemies, Blue? Nope. We should get going. All right. Is she going to say the same thing? Or something Captain, different? Yeah, same thing. Is everything all right between us, Piper? It's hard to say at the moment. I think I need you to show me you're not just out here for yourself. So, let's see. We watch shotgun shells and 308s. Hey. Well, hello. Everything here is... Hey, Cleo. Every weapon you see here could be the difference between life and death, baby. Maybe. I'll take a look, sure. A gun for every occasion. Where are the shells? Oh no, no shells? No shotgun shells? There we go. And we're over here. Might as well take some uh, sounds. Alright, so we need to sell some stuff to be able to afford this. Um, yeah, I'm not using them anyway. I care about that pistol. It has a star. No. I don't really give a shit about it, so or good enough. Almost even, tool cost them 63. I got 10 to 7. Once it turns green, tool cost for that turns green. Oh, wait, I'm almost there. Now I can do it. Also, a couple extra. Now let's look. 223. 
pretty good supply of ammo. Alright. Do a little quick save. Alright. Now where's the doctor? Ah, uh, memory den. That's what we're looking for. Whoever this brotherhood of steel is, I'm not buying that. We come in peace, Malarkey. Hmm? Peace, brother. <clears throat> what, you need something to take the edge off? Fred Allen, Hotel hmm. Rexford. He'll hook you up. The moon monkey dangles. Hey there. So, Brotherhood of steel. Better stay out of good neighbor. All I'm saying. Hell of a load you're carrying. Better sell some to Daisy before someone swipes it. So who's really Excuse me. Hey, ever been to kill to be killed? Some fine looking weapons. But I'll tell you hmm. Memory Den. What was I supposed to do here? I can't remember. See what I did. Alright. Oh, girls, girls, girls. Well, well. Mr. Valentine. I Interesting. About the May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I never walk out on you. Hmm. Well, hello there. Here for Amari. She's downstairs. Hey, Irma. Whatever you and Nick are up to, I don't need to know. Just don't let the big metal softy hurt itself. All right? Don't let Nick spend too much time with Amari down in that lab of hers. Mm. I'll start to get jealous. Mm. Okay, there's a green. Huh. Yeah, slow poke. Let's go. Ooh, slow poke in there. Alright. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. This one's all yours, Nick. We need a memory dig, Amari. It's not going to be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Nick's an older model since. Is he compatible? That's exactly what I was thinking. If we are lucky, it should hook right in. But even if this works, Mr. Valentine would be taking on a tremendous amount of risk. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. Let's do it. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right. Let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. Just sit down. 
If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's oh, see. What were you hiding? I need you Don't to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be valuable. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. How do you lock memories? The implant is encoding all the mnemonic activity in the hippocampus. Think of it like computer encryption. And we don't have the password. Let's see. A single mind wouldn't be able to crack it. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. I think now she wanted me to kill him. This may prove I should have. At first. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. People always hoping for something better. They usually end up with something worse. Mm, what a joke. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them sane. The teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days. Like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop sending you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. 
Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I will, Mom. I promise. I won't let you down. You've always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There! Try that one. The thing about happiness is... You only know you had it, and it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. Focus on the petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back, by comparison with what comes after, that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've gotta give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. A little Mary, too. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I, I never deserved her. Not for one second. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's no, okay. I got her. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. Hmm. Interesting. I found another memory to try. I'll connect you.
mind if we uh, sit down? Suit yourself. Please. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? I didn't care where I was going. Ended up mostly wandering east. Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could, maybe. If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when your job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. So, uh, I'm just getting a snack. Take One of them. Is that right? If you pay me, oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek. Mind if we... Sit down. Suit yourself. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And, uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when your job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And, uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Alrighty. Give me my two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Now it's time to go. There's always someone who wanted someone else dead. Sometimes just roughed up, but uh, dead was usually what they wanted. Sometimes they thought they could cheat me. That was usually only when I first arrived somewhere. Didn't matter to me. They just took it as part of the job. A little extra thrown in for free. I always got paid in the end. One way or another. No. It was always a job for someone like me. Didn't matter what it was. Didn't matter who I was supposed to kill. I got pretty good at it. 
I don't remember much from that time. It all kind of blends together. It was almost always a bar, though. That's universal. Mr. Hello. I'm glad you decided to meet with me. I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. I kind of ran out of road. Plus, I'd come to terms with life. I wasn't going to be stupid enough to get mixed up with caring about other people again. It was just me against the world. <clears throat> and the world had it coming. First synths weren't all that impressive. I'm good, but I'm not that good. But the Institute could always make more. And kept making them better each time. They still give me the creeps, but you have to get used to them if you want to work with the Institute. You're with the Institute. The first synths weren't all that impressive. I you heard all sorts of rumors about the Institute. But I figured they were just a convenient boogeyman for anything bad that ever happened. They were real, all right. They didn't know anything about operating on the surface. <clears throat> Relied on their synths for everything. They had the resources I needed. And I had the expertise they needed. Turned into a permanent arrangement. Which suited me just fine. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Huh? What's up? Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We are running out of brain here. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override initiated. Oh, trip. Cryogenic stasis. That's me. Suspended. That's me. If all computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all just find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. Big heads never like taking orders from a dirty, contaminated degenerate like me. But they needed me. And I made sure they knew it. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along <coughs> like the show, so this one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. Hmm. But we had our orders. Guess the old man didn't want so many loose ends. Too bad he left alive the one person he shouldn't have. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft, pre-war vault dweller. 
even if he somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. Mm -hmm. If he could take... I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but... Mm. Uh, mm -mm -mm. I never like to. And yeah, I guess it did remind me of uh, her. Yeah, I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but uh, I'm still human. Better this way, though. Better than taking her kid <clears throat> and keeping her alive. I got played in it because I accidentally skipped it. What are you doing? I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft pre-war vault dweller, even if he somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's oh boy. coming to them, too. If he could take me out, they won't be able to hide from him for long. Now what? This is the one. Here. Open it. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. <coughs> it wasn't usual for the, from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. I didn't know. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. Alright, we're gonna I haven't done it, stop pushing but, buttons uh, for a moment. I never liked to. But yeah. I guess it did remind me of uh, yeah, I'm a cold hearted bastard for sure, but uh, I'm still human. Better this way though. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. Is it over? Are we okay? Almost. Everything's going to be fine. Come here. Come no, here, baby. No, no. I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only going to tell you once. I'm not giving you Sean! God damn it. Get the kid out of here. Let's go. through that again I found another intact memory <clears throat> whenever you're ready oh shit now ah, we're getting somewhere what part of the mystery shall be revealed You decided to meet with me. Oh. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. Did I go backwards? We do, as you can see. I did. Alright, here we go. Here we go. The thing is, it's ten years he won't even know who I am. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. It wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. <clears throat> but it was one of the old man's pet project so here we were me and the kid <clears throat> like a happy little family i ended up kind of liking it 
A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. Mm. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Hmm. Now what? Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. are going to roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. X-688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you. <coughs> Damn. Teleport technology. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Oh boy. Okay, Doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? We got what we needed. The instant <coughs> teleportation to get in and out. Yes. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? that scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil, we need to find him. You're right. A rogue institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. Why? 
What makes the glowing sea so dangerous? The name says it all. Hmm? Radiation. So much that nothing there could possibly live. Nothing pleasant. Navigating radioactive hazards is nothing new. But the glowing sea can kill a man in seconds. Mm, I need a suit. That's why it doesn't make sense. Virgil fleeing into that hell. The exposure alone. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation and the glowing sea like a shield. Or a cloak. <clears throat> a way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. How do I fight that much radiation, Doctor? There are chemical compounds. Radex, Radaway. You'd need as much as you could carry. Maybe more. A sealed environment suit would be great if you could find one. Or maybe one of those suits of power armor. That would be perfect. Mm -hmm. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Almost at level 20. Irma. The memory den's not accepting new clients right now, sweetheart. Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. <clears throat> I should have killed you when you were on ice. What? Oh, shit. Kellogg? Is that you? What? What are you talking about? Ha uh ha. -huh. You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some oh, shit. left over. That's not good. Feel fine, so let's get going. Mm. Or I could head back to Diamond City since you've got company already. There's something wrong with you, Nick. I don't want you with me. I told you I'm fine. But I get it. Through Kellogg's brain was a doozy for both of us. I'll be in Diamond City when you've had time to cool off. Let me ask you something. Let's get the breeze back. Keep the fat. Yeah? What? Hey, Valentine. Time to hit the road? Hey, Daisy. Glad you could. Not now. Well, I'll be around if you change your mind. Look alive. Look alive. Mm. Oh, that's right. What matters? We freaks gotta stick together. Where something to say? Your thoughts? Feel me? Hard to believe I'm roaming with my own pre-war relic. Now, what out there in our big? 
I was just wondering where you and I stand. I guess I'm still on the <clears throat> Show me you want to make lives better out of here. Then we'll talk. That's right. Who said that? Come on up to my office later. You've earned yourself some jet. The Institute. They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the super mutants. Not even the tools. Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. Hey. Enjoy your stay. So it's the third rail. See you looking round the corner. What? Another one of you mercs looking for McCready? He's in the back room. God, I love this song. You step through the gate. You got balls. To feel like a stranger. Cause we're Boy, all we got beer. strange. You ain't buying beer, you ain't buying. Mm. Just out of curiosity, is it only beer? He lied. He does have more than beer. Oh, what the flutter gun? All right. Now that you're lifted up, you're proper. <clears throat> you there? We need to have a conversation. You've got my attention. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. From what I hear, you may fit the bill. What's the job? I don't know yet. Whatever needs to be done once my boss has had a look at you, I can assure you that it will be dangerous and that you'll be paid fairly. <laughs> I live for danger. Where do I sign up? I like your enthusiasm. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. Never been to Tillery Hill. Now, is your motor running close to empty? <clears throat> Sweet pit boy, brother. You hold on to that. Hey. <clears throat> well, looks like we got another freak, just won't fit anywhere else. What? You need something to take the edge off? Fred Allen, Hotel Rexford. He'll hook you up. Can't say I'm surprised to find you in a mm -hmm. like this, McCready. Wondering how long it would take your bloodhounds to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? It ain't like that. I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah, I heard. But you're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. That isn't going to work for us. I don't take orders from you. Not anymore. So why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? What? Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, McCready. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with good neighbor. See? We respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you never learned. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you... That's say, right, good neighbor. I know you're looking for. <laughs> we'll be right back after a short break. Beautiful as always, Max. Thanks, Charlie. Can I get some water? Don't no need to even ask. 
Excuse me, miss. Now, what's the matter, handsome? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. I love the song. It was perfect. Real great set this evening, ma'am. Of songs, that is, I mm? recall. Is it warm in here? Oh, well, thank you. A girl <coughs> told me <coughs> best. Hm. Mm? Now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Ah, that's it. You had that, um, I'm the smartest one here and I know it posture. There's something so irresistible about intelligence, don't you think? So what brings a man like you to my part of town? What do you think? We're all trying to forget something, are we? I think you and I are going to get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? What's your story? How'd you end up singing here? Oh, I flew into town like any songbird does, on a heavy wind with a wounded wing. Mm, well, this place has a stage I needed to sing, and Whitechapel Charlie needed customers, so here we are. Was there anything else? Whitechapel Charlie's been here a long time, I take it? Well, he never talks too much about his past. <laughs> Neither do I, really. I guess that's why we get along. You should get to know him, though. Order a drink first. He always wants to talk business after someone's had a few. And was that all? You need anything else? I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. <laughs> it's tempting, but unfortunately I'm married to the stage. Boy. Special delivery.
guys. You landmine son of a bitch. Yeah, my landmine son of a bitch. It's alright. It's alright. We got that fast load. We got that fast load. That L1 looking for those landmines this time. Uh, let's do a quick save here. All right, scratch my eye for a moment. Really, the corner of the eyelid, not the eyeball. All right. Vega, every raider in the place is taking a dirt nap. Jared and Cole. No shit. That's what they're saying. Sounds like someone did us a favor. Ain't that the truth?
What? What? I said what? And that's why I did the quick save. Corvega? Every raider in the place is taking a dirt nap. All of them? Yeah. Place is a ghost town. Well, at least something's going our way. Yeah. Or if someone's wiping out gangs. Oh shit. Oh, no headshots? Damn. That was a big fail. <clears throat> oh shit. Shit! Damn, I gotta be more careful. I gotta be more careful. Holy shit balls. We're gonna try this one more time. Corvega? Every raider in the place is taking a dirt nap. Carrying reels? Uh-huh. Every last one. Nice level up.
Hey. <clears throat> oh. So wait. Okay, let's see which ones are the best. Actually, the valley will do the trick. Alright, right arm six. I mean, left arm six. Is there another left arm? That's yeah, seven. Seven's the winner so far. So that's the winner. Wait for the left leg. I mean, left arm. So left arm can go away. Any other left arms? Nope. Okay, chest 17, 12, 17 is the winner, I can go away. Shadowed Helmet 12. Any other helmets? Okay, right leg is 6. Oh wait. Here we go. Left leg five. That's a seven, so seven's the winner. Alright, there's your winners. What can I do? Now we're gonna dump our shit. We're getting close to the mission point. Hmm. Hey, floaty. Hey, floaty last picture. What are you doing? Um. Hello? I'm here to talk to Jack Cabot. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. Come on. 
Let's go meet the boss. Lead on. Jack, the new guy is here. One moment, one moment. I just have to. He'll be right with us. <laughs> oh, damn. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Pleased to meet you, Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Please, have a seat. The stuff in here is older than you, Blue. I'll have a seat. I'm now, not before we get down to not business, sure yet. I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time? Don't interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? Universe is a big place. Anything could be out there. Wonderful. Most people's minds are too narrow to admit the possibilities of an infinite universe. But I'm not talking about flying saucers and little green men. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. You think aliens created human civilization? Wonder what they think to see us now. Yes, if by alien you mean a non-human precursor to the commonly understood founding cultures. Sumer, Egypt, Assyria. My father excavated a city <coughs> in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing. Clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell him what I need him to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending him to look for the missing shipment? Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. Congratulations. What was all that about? Don't worry about it for now. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? You haven't told me half of what I need to know. Keep your shirt on. I'm getting mm. to it. You should start at Parson State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? I have some questions. Shoot. What's this missing package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. Anything else? Why does Jack have people guarding an old insane asylum? I don't mind you asking questions. As long as you don't mind me eh? not answering them. If it was important to what I was asking you to do, I'd tell you. In this case, it isn't. You all set then? How did this package go missing? The courier got there and picked up the package just fine. But never got back here. Could be simple bad luck. And how do you know? Or it could be a deliberate ambush. That's why I'm sending you. It's important that you recover the missing package. Are we good here? Nothing else. Okay. 
They're expecting you over at Parsons, so you'd better get going. What's up, punk? Oh, oh yes, level up. Okay, let's see. Life give it. Yeah, slowly generate lost health. I I definitely would like that. For sure, for sure. That is a big help. Hell yeah. button Gotta increase my accuracy for sure. I think next we'll be increasing accuracy probably. There's something to do with uh
Wait for the, um, I think I'm able to work on making the AP faster as well. Hmm. Nice. Oh, there's more. Alright. I was just passing through, but you had to ask for trouble, wouldn't you? Alright. Oh, wait. That's, uh, sorry about that, Piper. I didn't recognize you. Should do it. Is that freedom trail? Bottom of the freedom trail. Bottom of the freedom trail, which first trail starts at Boston Common. Hmm. Boston Common. There's fucking Boston Common, there it is. Okay. Huh. Well, well, well. I can fast travel there. Okay. How's that I can look again? Okay. I am. That was very reactive. Where does the Boston Common at? The hell? Am I supposed to be looking for clues or what? Radioactivity. activity. Shit. I wonder what happens if I shoot him. Awesome. Huh. Oh shit. following the freedom trail. 
I should find the railroad. Oh, hello. That be an attribute of the underground reward, maybe. Otherwise known as a subway.
What if I could disarm it? Ooh, I can. Nice! I learned something new. Look, it says 14 away. Oh, okay. Come on in, Piper. Hey. Hey. Talk to me. Your thoughts? You know, I think super mutants are smarter than anyone gives them credit for. Lucky for us, they're about as organized as a good neighbor. Someone there! Sound, what is it? Let's play, little ch- How do you like that game? Whoa!
Where are they? where I came from, yeah. Hmm. I went there. This is a new spot, maybe? Is it? No, oh, this isn't the new spot. It's the old spot. Sometimes the green ender curve will reveal dots from not as specific as I would like them to be. be something to explore. Oh. there.
Okay, I came from that way. This way. I'm gonna get over there somehow. Hmm. Piper has not have not kept up so far. Piper. I shouldn't be going this way. And somehow I lost Piper, I think she didn't die. Hmm. I've been here before. Hmm. Street Station is part of the Freedom Trail. I'm about bored with this mission. You just say the word. Nice, you're back. Alright. So, it did say... About what time is to... I mean, what I should find the railroad. Trains. Mm hmm. I definitely found the trains here. I feel like I've been here before, though. the trains though. Okay. I've been here before.
Mm. The tracks end here. Mm. What about the other track? Yep, they also end. Mm. For damn it, this ain't gonna help. And I bet I can't even fast travel out of here. All right, so we're gonna leave that go for now. Do some dishes in. Set a timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes starting now. This is a hard 15. 15. I gotta stop. You know, I'd like to play another 10 hours. Sadly, I ain't retiring yet, so I gotta do work tomorrow. Mm. Oh, that was radioactive. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Prep to get to. Hmm. Hey. Get going at a little green dot. See if we can get there. discovered. Nice. The region means non cleared. So let's be ready.
Fuck. I need where to transfer everything. What say? Alright, let's see how that weapon holds up. This is three weight. So three weight. Ah, that's fifty seven, but slow. Hmm. Eh, I don't know about that. Let's give it a try. Let's uh let's place it, see what happens.
Damn. Ball sacks. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that was a nuke sound. I should have known. Yikes. Alright, good thing I quick saved not too far before that. Less than five minutes and I have to be an adult again. Ugh.
All right. <clears throat> a little bit more. A little bit more plain. Set a timer for 17 minutes. 17 minutes. Counting down. Yo, 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 yo.
How is he missing? See ya. So oh shit.
find the clutter. There's a left leg. We'll go to the bridge.
Ooh, the trash is getting pulled the trigger. Nice. Likey. I don't want to do that. Whoa, hello. Forgetting that this is 33 shots per shell. Too cocky. When I get too cocky, I say boo. Boo for being too cocky. Cocky boo.
Let's just avoid this part and go to the guard guard mission. If I can.
Damn, I got a long way to go yet. Oh shit. I could have fast traveled there all that time? Shit. <clears throat> Let's play doctor. Oh shit. Oh shit! Oof! Whoa, that was a close. Holy shit balls. Ooh, getting close. Place is off limits. You best move along. Edward Deegan sent me. I'm looking for a missing package. Oh, you're the new guy. So this package. Pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Carson's Creamery, just north of here. Creamy. So you've just been waiting for me to show up to do something about those assholes. 
Guess we're not all lucky enough to have loudmouth partners to watch our backs, are we? As far as I remember, I don't answer to you. And yeah, we were waiting for you. That's your job, to deal with unexpected problems that come up. My job is to make sure nobody gets into this place. Do you get a lot of attacks like this? Not a lot. Locals know better than to mess with us. Usually it's the out-of-town tough guys who have to learn the hard way. <coughs> Just don't bring any trouble down on us. Talk to Maria if you need any. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's see.
right, we'll hang this mission in and then we'll be done for the night. Do you know where she so is? Did you find no, out what happened but to that does Your sister is missing and I want her found. What else is Edward for if not to keep the family safe? Stuff in Mother, years older Edward than you, has Blue. better things to do than sending someone out to find Imogene. Again. I can't believe you don't care what happens to your sister. I'm not going to have Edward drop everything just because Imogene decided to take a lover again. Jack, how dare you speak so disrespectfully about your sister? I can't bear to think what might be happening to Imogene right now. If she wanted us to know where she went, she would have told someone. I don't think you're even listening to me, Jack. Mother, will you let it go, please? I insist you send someone to find Imogene. She's a grown woman. She's perfectly capable of looking after herself. Imogene is out there somewhere, maybe even lying dead in a ditch, and you don't even care! We've been over this, Mother. If your father were here, he'd send someone to find Imogene. I'm not Imogene's babysitter. If she chooses to go off without telling anyone, that's her business. I don't think you're even listening to me, Jack. I'm not Imogene's babysitter. If she chooses to go off without telling anyone, that's her business. I don't think you're even listening to me. Did you not? Some raiders set up camp near Parsons and ambushed him. I took care of them. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? What's so important about this serum? You're getting paid to follow orders. Your orders were to get it back. That's all you need to worry about. There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now, as far as what's next... Oh, hell. I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. I can't believe you don't care what happens to your sister. I'm not Imogene's babysitter. If she chooses to go off without telling anyone, that's her business. I, I was rude. Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as mm. the other? <sighs> you shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes it more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. Great. The sister's even crazier than Jack. She's not crazy. She just wants the world to be a different place than it really is. I don't know where she's gone, but I can give you a place to start. 
She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. That's a jazz club there, the third rail. Hmm. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. I know the third rail. I'll ask around there. <clears throat> ah, you're back. Do you need something? I was intrigued by your theory about an ancient alien civilization. Actually, it was my father's theory. Now proven beyond doubt, although only to me, unfortunately. There aren't many archaeology journals publishing these days. You have proof. Enough to satisfy me. He only made a single expedition to the Lost City. But he brought back enough to show beyond a doubt Ooh, I want that gun. Wasn't made by or for human beings. Millennia older than the earliest human civilizations. But with technology that seems to have surpassed our own. And yet, everything about it is strange. Disturbing geometries. Tools not made for human hands. Carvings that hint at dimension. You said your father found a lost city? Yes. He spent years looking. It was widely ridiculed by the so-called experts. I'm ashamed to say even I doubted him. But in the end, he found it. A lost city. What was your father's theory? He believed that all of the earliest human civilizations shared some common parent that was unknown to history. Think of Atlantis. The myth of an advanced civilization destroyed by a cataclysm is shared by many widely separated ancient cultures. Eventually, he found what he was looking for. A lost city. <clears throat> I wanted to ask you about something else. All right. How'd your father manage to travel to Arabia with the world blown to hell? Ah, well, that was before the war, when he was a young man. That's impossible. The war was 200 years ago. Impossible? <laughs> Not much that I would call impossible these days. It is an unusual situation, but, well, it's a private family matter. That's no concern of yours. Are we done? What's going on at that old insane asylum? I carry out some of my research there. That's all you need to know. Okay. I was just curious. Was there anything else? Quite a place you've got here. Amazing that it survived the war. Thank you. I try not to take it for granted. We were definitely more sure. It hasn't been easy keeping it up to pre-war standards, but was there anything else? I've got to get going. All right. Bitch, get out of my way. That should be some cool gun. See what it is. Hmm. Beta gun. Damage 10 radiation. Gamma round. Well, 
we're gonna call it a night though. Let's check out. So this, I don't know why is this water. This is ten there. Twelve people. Hmm. Let's go ahead and fast travel there. Grey Garden has no power. No power. No power. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven places don't have power. So. Steel, rubber, copper, ceramic. What else do we need? Steel and rubber. Steel and rubber. So we need more water. Who has the most people first? Grey Guardian. 
Give them some power. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. It says I can build these at the sanctuary, but not here. What the fuck? Hmm. It's pissing me off. So, what if the map? Oh, I think it's space within the square, probably. Maybe? Hmm. We'll find out. Around a thorough about you know, Gene. Good neighbor, huh? You looking to get stoned or stabbed? Hmm? for every situation. Hunting, protection, cold-blooded murder, hot-blooded murder. <clears throat> Let's see what you got. Purchase a variety in case of boredom. Okay, we need to sell 2,314. We need to sell about 2,000 dollars worth of stuff. I wonder if we even have that much to sell. We'll find out. <coughs> I hardly ever use this. So.
I don't think I'm going to have enough money to do it. This is a waste of time. Oh, uh, yeah, these are, these are just one. Oh boy. Mm -mm -mm. Take a look here. So, really, shells. 308s might be good. Yeah, 308s and cells, really. Let's see what you have. Each weapon. Three or eight shells. All right. More reasonable if we have a chance to buy these. Sort my value. Oh no, zero. That's it. Damn. What's up? Cleo. Every weapon you see here could be the difference between. Let's see what you have. Purchase a variety in case. Uh huh. One more try. I'll take a look. Sure. Let's get you outfit. Got any? Uh, I might have something. 
Now, I've seen a lot of crazy stuff in my time. A flying ship. Cows are... You're blocking my light, man. <laughs> Your lady friend there. She's the dame who writes public occurrences, right? Good stuff. I always did appreciate good investigative journalism. Hey there. What? Got a staring problem? Peace, brother. Downstairs. Don't bother the other patrons. Sweet pit boy brother. You hold on to me. Need a place to stay? Brother, excuse me. Stay free. Yes. You run in from something? Welcome home. Excuse me. Better keep your iron strapped on. Friendly advice. Magnolia so. can really sing. The only reason I come here. That? <clears throat> Smell that? That's freedom. Ever been to kill or be killed? Fine looking weapons. Hey, hey. Yeah? <clears throat> what, you need something to take the edge off? Fred Allen, Hotel Rexford. He'll hook you up. Yeah, once or twice. Too weird for me, though. Hey! Where to? Where I'm coming from. Buddy, I need to be a lot more... Over here. Uh-huh. ...more drunk to be bothered right now. Hey. Just let me know. Heads up. You know, you look like you could really use this. These things have literally saved my life. That's all. Sure. Like we got another freak just won't fit anywhere else. Yeah. Yes. You'll be coming for a right me, me, Well, the knees still tight. Save me, save me, like shit. Take me, take me, Yo, baby, so do you know Imogene Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Ain't seen her in a while though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! This guy wants a word! Mm -hmm. You again. It's my lucky day. What do you need? Any chance I could steal you away for an evening? I don't think that would be a good idea. There's something else I can help you with. Do you know Imogene Cabot? Imogene? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? I just need to talk to her. Hmm. Why are you looking for her, honey? Her family's worried that something's happened to her. Well, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seems like a body that could use looking after. Please, tell me what you know. There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Emma Jane, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. 
Some women find that irresistible. Pam, would you come over here a minute? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this fine gentleman here was just looking for Imogene. Do you happen to know where that preacher fella came from? Hmm, Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one Imogene was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in his face. Here, kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Mm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Evan Jean's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. Peace, brother. Entertainments down the stairs. Sure as hell didn't act like him. Institute thinks they can replace people with synths in this town? They've got another thing coming. What am I gonna yeah. tell his mother? <clears throat> Better keep your iron strapped on. Plenty of advice. Huh? Don't eat. Ah, Freedom Trail Marker. Now a six and an O. Oh.
Hi. I hope you decide to become one of the pillars of the community. Might be a while till the next <clears> show. You should talk to Brother Thomas about how to join on the movement. Excuse me. Welcome, neighbor. Mm. We're always glad to they see are you dressed the same. Here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? I'm looking for Emma Jean Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Emma Jean is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. What's she doing here? Is she a member of your movement? Actually, she and I are... You know... Romantically involved. Not that it's any of your business, but... She and I are just having a little... Relationship trouble. You mean she wants to leave? She's not seeing anybody until she cools off. You're not holding her prisoner, are you? No, she's not a prisoner. She's just locked in her room until she calms down. She's mm -hmm. acting crazy, threatening to run off. Uh... You know how women can get. I'm going to see her, one way or another. Your choice. Whoa. You really want to head down this route? You picked the wrong guy to mess with, pal. If that's what you want. We'll uh, try to make Piper happy and do it a different way. guys along are these battles procedurally ge randomly generated because they didn't bat battle me the last time I went on through here that's pretty pretty cool yeah, it's random Hey there. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You mm -hmm. The whole world is broken. That's what I used to think. Until I found a way to make a difference. To transform. We call ourselves the pillars of the community. But we're growing fast all across the Commonwealth. And you can... Step right this way, and I'll be happy to tell you all about our movement and how you can be a part of it. Sounds good. Well, that's just fantastic. I know you're going to fit right in around here. Don't be shy. Just hey. follow me. Welcome. Don't worry. I don't fight. Right this way, neighbor. All righty. I hope you're as excited as I am. This is one of my favorite parts of the job. Getting to welcome new members into our meeting. The first step is simple. You have to learn to give up your attachment to material possessions in order to gain the ability to have true wealth, health, and happiness. Just go ahead and give me everything you want, and I'll initiate you as the first brother of the You've got to be 
kidding. You want me to give you everything I have? The first step is the hardest, neighbor. Mm. But it's the only way to cast off your old life and start on the road towards your future health, wealth, and happiness. Don't you think that's worth a small mm -hmm. temporary sacrifice? What do I get in return for giving you everything I own? And you're still stuck in old thinking. But that's what you came here to give up. And the first step Mm. You can't seriously think I'm handing over all my stuff. The world is full of suckers, pal. Just look outside. Every one of them handed mm. over everything they owned in return for... Well, hope. Uh. Sure, it's false hope, but hey, it was worth it to them. Uh -huh. You can tell yourself whatever you want, but you're leaving it naked or horizontal. Your choice. Oh, shit. What if I've changed my mind and don't want to join anymore? No, sorry. I'm afraid we're past that point. Mm -hmm. You really do need to give me everything. Now. I'm walking out of here. Your choice what you want to do about it. That's not how this works. You're dead. Ooh, level 20? Right in the titty. Oh no! Oh, phew! You must be Imogene. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. Well, actually it was Edward, but close enough. Edward, who works for Jack. I know Jack was behind this. He's always trying to control me. You were a prisoner. 
You don't seem very grateful for being rescued. I'm fine, as you can see. I was just waiting to see if Thomas would come to his senses. But since you've already gone to all this trouble, I may mm. as well leave now. Shit. I was bored with Thomas anyway. Mm. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we got here, he turned out to be just another brute. He mm. actually thought it could force me to join his absurd oh. cult. Interesting. Need anything before we go? No. I didn't bring anything worth taking with me. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. <clears throat> you can tell Mother I'll be home soon. I'll never hear the end of this for Mother. Tell them what happened. I had to call in a night, unfortunately. Is everything okay between us? I suppose things are all right. Just feels like we could be doing more for folks out here, you know? Your thoughts? Most folks are just looking for a hand. All we gotta do is offer. Nothing else for now. Sure. Long to my four day weekend. Let's see. Edward, Edward, uh, two weeks from now. Try again. I think it's clearing up. <coughs> Not now. This is maddening. Edward, hey there. Over oh to my the god, it's modulator. Do you copy? See now. How's this? Oh, 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 that's done it. Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Inside? You keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I I've never seen raiders this way. For God's sake, Sammy, the doorway right there. Sorry. Things are a little busy around here right now. Listen. They're inside the building. You have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. Hello? Edward? Come in. Edward! Ah. No signal at all. I lost it. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they bring them... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I overdo it with it. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping you. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking.
Ma ho detto bene. Hello, goodies for me. Security's done. <clears throat> Perfect. going on <laughs> hello at Parsons the old asylum they're under attack by look raiders. around it's strange the guards have held off raiders before without any trouble I don't know what's gone wrong this time hmm. I found Emma Jean she's fine oh yes good. nice level up you'll be wanting to be paid of course Edward usually handles these things. Caps is what you use for currency, isn't that right? Here, I hope that's the right amount. Now, we really need to focus on the current emergency. How can you be so callous about your sister's safety? I wonder if these could be the same raiders that stole that last shipment. If some of them had used the undiluted serum, it could explain their unusual success against Edward's men. Hmm. What exactly does this serum do? I suppose it's time you knew. The main benefit of the serum is to halt aging. Nice. My family and I are all over 400 years old. So But it also confers other side effects, especially in the undiluted form that the raiders stole. It increases strength and resistance to all kinds of physical damage. Uh -oh. So at least some of these raiders may be much more dangerous. Uh -huh. Where do you get this serum from? My father. Lorenzo Cabot is confined in Parsons. He became dangerously unstable after handling an artifact he found on an archaeological dig in Arabia. He gained various seemingly mm. paranormal powers. In the end, I had no choice. Uh -huh. Jack, are you sure it's wise telling him all this? Mm -hmm. In the course of my attempts to cure him, I discovered that the artifact had introduced uh, anomalies into his blood. So the source of his insanity is also the basis of the treatments that have prolonged all our lives. The irony isn't lost on me, but if he were to escape from Parsons, I would lose my father forever. I will not allow that to happen. Mm -hmm. Not to mention that the artifact has made him paranoid, homicidally. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Exactly what abilities does he have? Enhanced strength, unusual resistance to most kinds of physical damage. Oh, and a kind of local telekinesis, mm. which appears to be projected by the artifact itself. That's why I have built a dampening field into his cell. Which is why we really need to stop these intruders. Uh -huh. Before we go, I need you to understand something. What's that? When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what mm. I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Maybe. Why is that so important? If these intruders have gotten past Edward's men, they may have freed Lorenzo. Mm -hmm. I'm the only one who understands exactly how to... Sure. Hmm. Okay. Good. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. Ooh, I'll wait for you out. Uh -huh. Just be careful. And try not to hurt him. I love Father at least as much as you do. But you know as well as I do that if he gets free, there will only...
one option. Don't let me come to that, please. I'll do my best, Mother. And if Imogene finally comes home, for God's sake, don't leave <coughs> now. I really do have to go. We need to get to Parsons. I don't need anything right now, thank you. Interesting. There we go. Did I just find a glitch? I have two. If he keeps on repairing, I could just take it again and again and get unlimited caps. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, I gotta stop playing, damn it. Alright. To be continued tomorrow. Okay, hopefully I'll... Ready? Let's go. Right. Just to be clear, under no circumstances can we allow Lorenzo... Peace out. 